There are definitely some sweet people out there in the world who gives you cereal in a bag because it's so darn early. I have driven all the way to Cheney and all the way back and I saw another client all on a semi flat tire. I think my vehicle has faced enough abuse. I'm at my parents' place and I'm gonna get some air and then head to Deer Park. Let's do it. Let's get some air for my car. Got my dad's keys. Alright. Figure out how to get into this cell. We need two keys for two doors. It's like, really, Dan? We don't live somewhere where people will steal stuff. Isn't this cool? He built this himself. And he's 60. So if you say you can't do something, this was built by a 62-year-old man. Well, oh, it is cold in here. We need the darn key. Wrong key. There's like 500 keys on this thing. And you just saw my ear. That's right. It's even colder in here. Oh my gosh. Where's the light switch? Oh, is it over here? Maybe I think it's over here. Uh, why would it be over there if I can't? Okay, I'm gonna turn you guys off. Oh, it's so cold out here. That took longer than it really should have. Honestly, my nose is red. <sighs> my hands are freezing cold, but I'm done. Let's go to Deer Park. I told them I would be there in 45 minutes. It's been 45 minutes. <sighs> At least my car runs better. It was really struggling there for a while. Oh, shoot. All right, I have to get going. I have to find where they live on Google Maps. Bye. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I honestly cannot remember if I filmed anything, so if you do see footage before this, congratulations, you know before I do. We finished Philippians. I did not realize that Philippians was that short. So all I'm just gonna lay on my backpack, or not. Can you please find a place Sorry. No, no. No, no. Oh my gosh. No, no. Could you beat it, please? I want to be pain in my butt. And thank you. We are going to be reading Galatians. Are you ready for Galatians? Let's begin with chapter 1, verse 1. Paul, an apostle, not of men, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead, and all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia, grace be to you and peace from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of God and our Father, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you, and would pervert the gospel of Christ. You know, I, I'm gonna go on a limb on this, but I am so picky. This is how I was raised, that you have to be very careful on what type of transcript your Bible is in. To be honest, really, there is no English Bible that really is a good translation of the original Greek or Hebrew, but the closest that I was raised with is the King James Version or the New King James Version. I'm reading the King James, which, which has thou and ye and thy, but there are so many books out there that translate so badly that it's 
misguiding. I was with my uncle and we went to Barnes and Noble and we got a bunch of Bibles with different transcript translations and we read John 3.16. They were translated so badly, one of them was so bad that it pretty much translated John 3.16 into God picks and chooses who he wants to be saved. That's how that translation came across as. That it had nothing to do with being saved. It was about who was worthy enough for God to be picked. I wish I could find that transcript. There was another one where it translated the Amen at the end of the Bible to the end. Which, yeah, it's kind of funny, but someone who is a new Christian or someone who is going to read the Bible and try to find some flaw is going to take that the end like, oh, it's the end. He's not coming back. There's your proof. I feel like certain translations has perverted the gospel. I just feel like New King James or the Old King James Version is the closest because it is one of the originals, the, the original translations. That's my opinion, and also that's how I was raised. So if you want to get mad at me, blame my mother. She's always on YouTube. Verse 8. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. And we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, that then that ye have received, let him be accursed. For do I now persuade men or God? Or do I speak to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of God. I love Paul. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. Paul was one of the worst men in Bible history, I feel like. His name was Saul, and they always called him, like, the coat holder. He held the coat for the men that stoned Stephen, and he had great pleasure in it. And on his way home, he was blinded. And he changed his ways. And he became one of the greatest missionaries to ever walk the face of the earth. We all can be Pauls. We can be Pauls in our own neighborhood. We can be Pauls in our own household. Paul is an influence. Paul is amazing. In fact, Popeye's name when I first got him was Paul. Too bad I didn't keep it. Verse 13. For ye have heard of my conversation in time past, in the Jews' religion, how that beyond measure I persecuted the church of God and wasted it, and profited in the Jews' religion above many my equals in mine own nation, before, um, before being more exceedingly zealous of the traditions of my fathers. All over! You're being such a nuisance. Ugh. Verse 15. Just sit there. Verse 15. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace, to reveal his son in me, that I might preach him among the heathen, Immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood. Neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me. But I went unto Arabia and returned again unto Damascus. Then after three years I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter and abode with him fifteen days. But ever of the apostles saw I none, save James the Lord's brother. Now the things which I write unto you, behold, before God, I lie not. Afterwards I came into the regions of Syria and Cilicia. Cilicia. Darn my dyslexia. 
and was unknown by faith unto the churches of Judea, which were in Christ. But they have heard only that he which persecuted us in times past now preacheth the faith which, which once he destroyed, and they glorified God in me. That is the end of chapter 1 of Galatians. Move on! That was a good chapter. I love you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow.